Hi everyone, this is Pooja Samir Bhumre, Assistant Professor in Artificial Intelligence and Data Science of an AISSMS IOIT. So in this uh, today's session, we will discuss the characteristics of an MIS. So MIS is nothing but what? It is a management information system which will handle the database, process the data and provide the end user to computing the facility and give a, gives the output in variety of formats. It supports is to meet the general information needs to be all the managers in the frame. It helps the manager and other users to identify the uh, and understand the problems regarding to that. So there is another definition we can say the uh, MIS is nothing but is a plan or organized approach to transferring of an intelligence within an organization for the exercise of a management. So they do not have to create information, but simply package it. So this definition has uh, told the JJ Berrien. Again, there is another approach of an MIS is that it is a system that will add the management in making, carrying out and controlling the decision. So on the basis of the definition, there is having the different characteristics of a management information system. So in the today's session, we will see how the uh, what are the different characteristics of an MIS. So we will have uh, eight characteristics, main characteristics of an uh, management information system that we have listed in the slide. That is the system approach, management approach, uh, need base, after that exception base, future oriented integrated long term subsystem concept so we will go to the one by one of this all these characteristics how they will uh, uh, define that so in the first characteristics of an mi season uh, we can say it is a system approach so in this characteristics the information system follows a system approach the system approach implies a holistic approach to the study of a system and its performance in the light of an objective for which it has been uh, constituted. So this is an uh, first characteristics of a management information system. Now the second one is that uh, we can say the management oriented. Obviously the name suggests that it is an M management information system. So obviously it is having the second characteristics of an um, Minds, that is we can say it is a management oriented so how this management oriented uh, characteristics will be followed that is uh, the top down approach it should be must be followed while designing the mis the top down approach is like that the system development start from the determination of management needs to overall business objective after that the mis development plan should be derived from overall business plan uh, management oriented characteristics of an MIS also implies that the management actively uh, direct the system and the development efforts. So we can say the MIS is a top down approach or top down or top down oriented system so this is the second one now we will go to the need base so uh, MIS will be designed and development should be as per the information needs of manager at different level uh, it required the strategic plan level uh, so in the different levels of a management it required the planning controlling and performing and different operation will be a uh, will be performed so it will be a the dependency will be required so that's why we can say it is a need base so in other words we can say the mi should be catered to specific needs of a managers in an organization hereditaria so this is the third characteristics of an MIS. Now we will move to the second next one that is exception based. So exception based means what uh, management information system should be developed by the exception based reporting principle which means an abnormal situation the in the maximum minimum accepted value vary behind the tolerance limit in a such a situation there should be a B exception reporting to the decision maker at the required level so uh, whatever the output will be get in MIS but it is we can say the exception based reporting should be generated now we will go to the uh, next uh, next characteristics that is future oriented so whatever the role of an MIS will be the besides of an exception based reporting MIS should be a look like a future so in other words we can say it provide the past or historical information rather than it should be provide the information on projection based on which actions will be uh, initiated 
so that one uh, that's why the another characteristics is for future oriented now the second one is uh, next one is that is integrated so integration uh, is a necessary of an um, uh, characteristics of a management information system that will uh, is significant the because of its ability to produce more meaningful information regarding to that business for example we will take the example regarding to in order to develop the effective production scheduling system so it is necessary to balance such a factor as a workforce after that overtime task and the production capacity inventory level the capital requirements and the customer services so that's why it is an uh, uh, it follows the integra- integrated characteristics of an mis now next one is long term planning so whatever the business we have to achieve the business, mis should be having long term the whatever the relative mis is develop over a relatively a long periods uh, so such a system does not develop the overnight it requires the time and it requires the planning for it so heavy element is of an plan is involved so mis designer must have the future objective and needs to be the company in a mind uh, so that's why we can say it is an long term planning next one is sub system concept so in the characteristics the process of mis development is quite complex and one is likely to lose insight frequently so the system uh, through the view as a single entity must be broken down into the uh, distable sub system cons- which are more meaningful in the planning st- stage so here uh, when we develop any mis it requires the sub system or over the sh- uh, small small uh, system will be created and we will make a entire organization or we can make a entire system so that is so we can say it is an sub system concept will be applied next one is central database so uh, we, uh, this is an another last and most important uh, characteristics of a management information system that is a central database so in a central database is a motor that will holds the functional system together and each system requires the access to the master file of an data covering inventory uh, personal vendors customer etc so it seems a logical to gather a data once validate it properly and place it on central st- storage medium which can be accessed in other system or the sub system so whatever the data will be required it is that data will be in the centralized process and that data will be accessed by any other sub system on that organ so these are the different uh, characteristics of an management information system so now thank you so much for the listening